There's also an idea associated with these uniformitarian hypotheses in that how specifically do we explain the state of decay of the vegetation in their stomachs? Baron Cuvier in the early 1800s had the idea that because it's only half decayed, it had to be quick frozen. And so he initiated the quick freeze hypothesis. Now, about 1960, Bird's Eye Frozen Food Company, which deals in frozen meat, decided to do a study on the, on the, the cooling of meat and how fast it'd take to cool it and what temperatures you need. And they concluded that you'd have to quick freeze it down to a temperature of 150 degrees Fahrenheit below zero suddenly. Now that is quite an order to account for a climate change or a cold front that would do that. So the uniformitarian ideas uh, fall far, far short. Then there's a group of scientists and even uh, lay people that have tried to figure this out and they could be called the non-creationist catastrophists, of which Emanuel Velikovsky, about uh, 50, 60 years ago, was one of their chief advocates. And he was great at, at looking at the Earth and, and seeing all these mysteries. The woolly mammoth was his chief mystery, the demise of the woolly mammoth in Siberia and Alaska. And he tried to explain it by Mars and Venus moving through the solar system coming close to the Earth and causing all these catastrophes. Other ideas is that the crust of the Earth shifted on the mantle, and so the woolly mammoths were in a, in a warm climate, suddenly shifted up toward the pole and froze instantly. So there you have ideas like that that are, uh, are not believed by hardly anyone nowadays.